Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome one and all to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Thanks for checking in. Well, let's get right into things. How about it this time around? Wendy's has a new release because obviously that's never happened before, ever. But Wendy's does have a new release this time around. Now, I'll admit, a lot of places try this, and the results usually wind up being mixed. And I just preface that purely based on experience. Now, every now and then the idea will come along, let's have an Italian-themed sandwich. And I think you might have even seen that at Wendy's before. I know a year ago, Burger King had done that, and other places, you know, do that from time to time. And usually these Italian-style sandwiches wind up being one of two things. They're either really good, or they're really bad. And for some bizarre reason, I don't know why it is, there's very little middle ground when it comes down to these types of sandwiches. Now, that's just based on experience. Of course, that doesn't mean there isn't any, but usually it's just one or the other. I don't know why it is that way, but it's just what I've noticed. But Wendy said, we're just going to go for it. We're going to give it a shot, and uh, I think they feel confident that it's going to be pretty good. So here's what it is. Wendy's has released the Italian mozzarella chicken sandwich. Now, they call it a chicken sandwich, but you could theoretically substitute the uh, chicken filet with a uh, beef patty. And in that case, I guess you, you wouldn't call it a chicken sandwich, but uh, I guess that's for another day. But by and large, they have a crispy chicken filet, which again constitutes the chicken part of the sandwich. It has a blob of fried mozzarella cheese on top of the chicken filet. It has marinara sauce drizzled over it, Asiago cheese, and the bun is a spicy garlic knot bun. So it's supposed to have all the flavors of Italy we know and love, of course. And, uh, you know, even if you're not one to travel, as you eat this sandwich, breathe it in, Breathe in the air, eat, close your eyes, and you're gonna, you're gonna pretend, you're gonna think, actually, that you're in Italy. And when you wake up, you're gonna be really confused, and you're gonna be really disoriented. You aren't gonna know where you are. You're not really gonna remember anything. You're gonna think like it was an alien abduction or something, but, uh... That's why I'd probably recommend if you eat this and you, you go that route, have someone there with you, and then they'll kind of get you back into reality, because otherwise uh, confusion is bound to ensue uh, based on, on the level of realism that has gone into this sandwich, because otherwise, I mean, you're, you're going to think that, that you're actually on a vacation over to Italy. And uh, price for this, think about it this way. It's $8.50 for the sandwich itself, so just for the sandwich. But number one, mozzarella cheese. I mean, you'll, you're going to see the size of that thing. That's the first part. Number two, if you get that desired experience, priceless. So the Italian mozzarella chicken sandwich from Wendy's, yeah, I, you know, I kind of kid, but... In the end, the ingredients are what they are. These sandwiches are hit or miss. Like I said, they could be really good, they could be really bad. $8.50 for it, though. That It's not a price I think many of us really want to see. Certainly not a price I want to see, but it just is what it is at this point. Uh, many, many sandwiches at, at this point have been in the $7, $8, $9 range, and uh, it's just where things are at this point. Uh, at the very least, though, you know, you can see this still is a pretty big sandwich. And there's some weight to it, for sure. If you do the tie knot size to sandwich comparison, 
uh, you can see that the sandwich is bigger than the tie knot. Let's open it up. Let's take a look at this. Italian mozzarella chicken sandwich. I could smell the garlic. I could smell the garlic from, from the bun. Very strong scent of garlic. All right, let's get a close up of this. Let me, I don't want to get any sauce on my suit if I can avoid it, that is. I mean, if it happens, it happens, but there's the close up. cheese. That's the chicken on the bottom, and on the top is that fried cheese. The marinara sauce, and there's the bun. So that's what it looks like. Uh, let's debun. Debun it. Kind of has that red color to it from the marinara sauce. An unforgettable taste of Italy, they say, because someone somewhere perhaps said that. All right, you know what's in it. I know what's in it. We all know what's in it. Let's try it out. The Italian mozzarella chicken sandwich from Wendy's, it's going in. The first bite was a, a bit unimpressive. The second bite, I did get a little bit of everything. I'm going to try to go in for a third bite and try to get, you know, the real, another full, full experience. So let's, uh, let's go, let's go for this angle right here. It's not as messy as I thought it would be, which is good. That's good. Not as messy. And, uh, well, that's pretty much the only good thing I could really say about it. I guess I'll say this. It's not good, but it's not disgusting either. So that, that is a positive, um, if you could call it that, but it is in a way. Because, all right, to compare it to when Burger King released, let me think when this was. It was last year, last year. I was just trying to jog my memory. 
When Burger King released their Italian sandwich last year, and I tried it out, that was disgusting. That was like, it was just gross, you know? It was one of those things that it's like, it's just, ugh. You could have things that aren't gross that just taste bad. You could have things that are just disgusting and taste bad. This isn't disgusting. It just tastes bad. That's just what I'm trying to say in that regard. There's a lot of things about this that I just don't like. I understand what they're trying to do with this. And like I said, for some reason, I really don't know what it is about these Italian-themed sandwiches. It's just they have a track record, and this just continues the trend, unfortunately. I don't know what it is about these sandwiches that makes them so difficult to perfect, but there's always so many problems. I understand why, you know, the approach they're trying to go for, but it just didn't work. Here's the main issue that I have. Oddly enough, the thing is piping hot. And I was surprised, actually. I was surprised how long it's it's uh, it's just been at this. Like, it, all right, I got it delivered. I already have everything set up. Everything's good to go. So as soon as it gets in, you know, I just bring it over, start it up. But the thing, I mean, it, it was still really, it's hot to the touch. And I just, it's interesting how certain things retain their heat. Either way, just looking at it, it feels really hot, but does it look the freshest in the world? No, it doesn't. But it is what it is. Certain things just take on certain appearances. Don't judge a book by its cover. So then here's the real problem. The saltiness of this thing is is unbearable. It really is. And generally speaking, I like salty foods. And uh, I am one that for, for certain things, you know, I will, I will make use of the salt packets. So I don't really mind uh, salty things. But this is just unbearable. It is just overwhelming. I bite into this and all that I could really taste is the sodium. I mean, that first bite that I took, I know my bites aren't that large, and the first bite, I mostly just had a mouthful of the chicken. It was just salt. That's all that it was, was salt. I thought to myself, all right, this is kind of weird, because I've had their chicken sandwiches before. I'll have their chicken nuggets, the spicy chicken nuggets, the spicy chicken sandwiches. There's usually flavor to it. Yeah, so much fast food is loaded with sodium. We all know that. But when I bite in and that's the only thing I taste, it's you're already wanting to scratch your head. You're thinking, what's going on here? I, I don't know. Let me try to get a better bite. So I did. And all right, I had a bite of the chicken. That second bite I had the mozzarella cheese, the Asiago cheese, some of the marinara sauce, some of the bun, all of that. What do I taste? More salt. That fried blob on the top, is pretty much just, I know it's cheese, but it's, it's like, it's just salt. The chicken filet, salt. The bun, a little garlicky, there's no spice to be found here at all. And again, really salty. I feel like they took this sandwich and they dumped just an inordinate amount of salt. And you've had those experiences, right, where you might be preparing something and, you know, you accidentally put a little too much salt on something. Could even be something as simple as just fries, right? You're trying to add some extra salt to the French fries and uh, you put too much on. And then you know right off the bat that's too much, right? It's just not enjoyable anymore. It gets overwhelming. It gets overbearing. It gets to that point where it's like, all right, a little bit is real good. It could add certain characteristics to it. Too much, though, it just ruins it. And then you can't really even eat them. Or if you do, it's not going to be enjoyable. Probably not going to be good for you. It's at that level. And uh, the only thing that does a little bit to try to combat the salt is that marinara sauce, which is the only thing on this sandwich that isn't unbearably salty. That's the only thing about it where it has those sharp notes from the tomato. And that sharpness is clear as day, because that's the only other characteristic in this sandwich that you could really make out. You can smell the garlic from the bun. Can you taste it? No. The spice, there's, there's none to be found. 
What can I tell you about the chicken? It's salty. What can I tell you about the cheese? It's salty. What can I tell you about the texture of it? Much firmer than I thought it would be. That's another thing that's not enjoyable. If it looked like I was having some difficulty even trying to separate it, that's because there is some difficulty there. The thing is dry, it's firm, and it is packed with salt. And the only redeeming quality about this thing is the marinara sauce, which again, that is just as sharp as can be. And uh, like I said, the tomato there, it just again has this potent kind of uh, zestiness to it in a way. But part of me thinks, is the marinara sauce really that strong? Or is it just because it's noticeable being that it's the only thing that tastes different from everything else in this? And even so, I mean, you could see when I took that top bun off, and I'll, I'll do it again for you. Let's, let's do this. You could see, you know, compare the picture to what you're actually getting, right? There's not a ton of the marinara sauce. There's a little there, a couple drops, but... I mean, it's not necessarily dripping with the sauce. It's around the edges, but that's about it. You could see it's dry. There's not enough sauce to salvage this or to redeem this in any way, shape, or form. This isn't good. This isn't enjoyable. And uh, quite frankly, it's a waste of $8.50 for some overpriced, pretty much inedible sandwich. Because am I going to be eating another bite of this? No, I'm not going to be. Uh, I'm not. I'm going to be getting rid of this the second I turn the camera off. Because there's no joy in eating this. It's not disgusting. It's not gross. It's not one of those things that'll make you look, you know, you'll look at it and you'll think, ugh, you know, it's not like that. It's just a bad product. This is something that could have potential. Like I said, some of these Italian sandwiches, they're really good or they're really bad. Yeah, it fit the profile and uh, not in a good way either, which is unfortunate. But Wendy's, you know, they have some good items too. They definitely have some really good releases. This is not one of them though. This is not one of them at all. And uh, like I said, the only good thing is a, is a sauce, and that's just not enough. It's, it's not a good sandwich. It's disappointing. It's very disappointing. And for the price, too, yeah, the potential's there, but it just, it's bad. It's not good. So that said, don't get this. I just wouldn't. I, I wouldn't advise it. It's $8.50. I mean... If you really want to, I mean, go for it, but it's $8.50. There's better items you can use uh, that money to buy. I would advise, personally, save your money and get something that you'll actually enjoy, because this, the one I got, this just isn't worth it at all. So, considering that it's pretty much inedible, it is not enjoyable, it's overpriced, and every single ingredient about this thing, with the exception of a sauce, is bad. And it's tough, it's overly chewy, packed with so much salt. Forget it. There's so many bad things to say about this, and when the sauce is the saving grace, and that's it, and it doesn't save anything, I mean, I don't see any other choice but to give this a, yeah, uh, I'd give it a, I'd give it a 1.5 out of 10. Purely because it's not disgusting. It's not like I'm gagging it up. And the sauce, I mean, it's, there's one good thing about it. 1.5 out of 10. Very, very disappointing. But you know what? We're going to move forward from this. And uh, next time Wendy's releases an item, try it out. And hopefully they'll redeem themselves. Fingers crossed for that. That's all that I have for you. Thank you for watching. And until next time, I'm your host, The Report of the Week.